It is now well over two years ago since the Justice Department found itself forced to commission former director of the FBI Robert S. Mueller to be a special counsel and set up a probe in order to investigate claims that the 2016 campaign to elect then-GOP candidate Donald Trump to the White House as President of the United States actually colluded with Russian state actors in order to steal the result of the election from rival Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton and then committed obstruction of justice afterwards in a desperate attempt to cover up what they had done during the election campaign cycle. The unfolding situation surrounding the shocking and explosive testimony of Michael Cohen seems to get more and more baffling by the hour. Who could have predicted back in 2016 that this former senior attorney and close advisor to President Donald Trump would now be testifying in amazingly strong terms against the Republican President of the United States and leader of the free world with such verve and vigor. The irony of the current situation is that Cohen, a famed liar and longtime Trump associate, is now one of the left's greatest allies in trying to take down Trump. This was expressed brilliantly by Anderson Cooper live on CNN. When Cohen testifies, yes, it'll be a known liar who lied for another known liar because the liar told him to lie and paid him to lie. Michael Cohen might lie tomorrow, we don't know. But you can also argue the liar doesn't actually have to lie anymore because he's already been convicted of lying and he's heading to prison. How much more does he really have to lose? Now, keeping them honest, there is no doubt Michael Cohen has lied and lied a lot. He lied about working for Donald Trump or his company. He lied on TV promoting Trump's campaign, and he lied under oath to Congress. He's a convicted felon.